Hey guys, it's Garrett with Gulf Coast Angling coming at you from my home office here. Uh, I wanted to make a video outlining the tackle that we use for our offshore fishing. Uh, before we really get started, I want to lay some, some ground rules for uh, this video. The first being is that obviously there's not a perfect application of rods and reels for the individual. It's totally based on your needs and, and what you're targeting. With that being said, what we're focusing on in this video is offshore fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. So what I consider offshore is kind of beyond that 30 mile range, anywhere from 30 to you know 100, even 200 miles offshore, and anything greater than 200 feet of water. Anything inside those boundaries, I consider more inshore, nearshore, coastal fishing, and anything beyond those boundaries kind of gets into the offshore category. So uh, let's get started. We're going to do a countdown for from five to one on, on the essentials that I use. Uh, but before we get started, uh, I would appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed. I'm going to try my best, no promises, try my best to push out weekly videos. I definitely want to prioritize quality over quantity of videos. So if, if I don't really have uh, any footage, then you know, I'm definitely going to prioritize the quality uh, and and maybe delay uh, videos for for future weeks. So I uh, would appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed, but enough of that. Let's get started with number five. So the rod and reel combo for number five has found its way onto probably thousands of boats in the Gulf of Mexico. And that is obviously the Penn Senator and Headboat 180 rod and reel combo. So the, the rod is a little less common, but let's focus on the reel first. So the reel is a pin senator for alt. Uh, it goes by colloquially as the uh, 113H, um, but most people just call it the four aught. It is a bulletproof, weatherproof tank of a reel that will pretty much catch anything that you uh, set its little beady eyes on. So this reel is cheap, this reel is bulletproof, and this reel catches more fish than any other fish, any other reel on this list. It does have a few shortcomings compared to the other reels, uh, namely the fact that it has star drag and only puts out about uh, 20 pounds of drag and only retrieves about 26 inches per crank. So that's gonna come in shorter than a lot of the other reels on this list. But what you're lacking in for bells and whistles, you're making up for in durability and price. So these things do not get very expensive. I think you can pick up a new one about 120 bucks, but people sell them all the time uh, on you know Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and you can easily find a gently used combo um, for, for very moderately priced. Um, this is definitely a budget-minded reel but it has withstood the test of time and definitely deserves a place on this list. I do wanna talk about the rod that I have it paired with. It's a little bit unusual. It's the Headboat 180. Uh, it's a fast action rod that is about five feet nine inches or 1.8 meters, uh, thus the name. I prefer shorter rods when it comes to nearly all types of fishing, uh, just because they stow away better. They're kind of easier to manage when you're fishing. And uh, if you get something fast action like this, you're not gonna really miss any of the extra sensitivity and length from, you know, say a seven foot rod or, or even more for that matter. So I prefer the short compact 5.9 uh, frame for bottom fishing and for trolling and jigging uh, actually. So uh, most of the rods on this list are going to be on the shorter side around 5.9 to six feet. Another good thing about the Penn Senator is the modularity of its parts it can easily be upgraded beyond factory specifications. In fact, the one that you're seeing here has actually been upgraded to about 33 pounds of drag. Uh, we, we upgraded the drag washers and, and a couple more parts and really boosted the performance of this reel. So it's something that you can kind of buy factory standard and use right out of the box, or you can tweak it and make it a little better and um, you know have just that extra edge of performance out of. I could have chosen dozens of clips with the pin senator, um, but what you're seeing here is kind of just displays both the rod and reel in full action and why we love it on our boat. So uh, enjoy the clips and then we'll move on to number two. So in number one, we saw the pin senator fill the role of bottom fishing extraordinaire. 
uh, bulletproof, durable, and cheap. However, it doesn't fill the role of vertical jigging. So vertical jigging differs from bottom fishing in the fact that you're covering multiple levels of the water column. You can cover bottom, the middle, and the top of the water column with vertical jigging, whereas with a bottom fishing combo, you're more or less kind of just covering the bottom uh, layer of the water column. And jigging is a more versatile, exciting way to fish than bottom fishing, uh, and definitely has its spot for most boats in the Gulf uh, when it comes to targeting different fish. We target tuna, amberjack, and even grouper uh, on these jigs, which just goes to show how versatile they can be when it comes to fishing. So for jigging, I chose the Shimano Speedmaster as my preferred jigging reel, and we paired that with a Shimano Travala jigging rod. The Speedmaster is actually a revisioning of the original Shimano Speedmaster, which was a trolling reel. Um, but since then it has been upgraded into a workhorse, a jack of all trades, but I love it specifically for jigging. The reason I love it for jigging is the fact that it has 42 inches per retrieve, so you're really retrieving a lot of line per crank. It has two speeds and it puts out an absurd 40 pounds of drag. Um, that number is actually not even realistic when it comes to fighting. We fight most, most fish, even, even big amberjack, in, on less than 20 pounds of drag. So uh, you're never going to utilize 40 pounds of drag, but it's there if you need it. So it's a great feature uh, alongside the two speeds and the 42, line, 42 inches of line retrieval per crank. Because this fills the role of jigging on our boat, we paired it with a Shimano Trovala jigging rod. This is a medium action rod with extra heavy power. Uh, it's really designed to be ran with braid. And this specific reel is only five feet, eight inches. So it's shorter than me. And uh, that's saying something, but it has the, the power and the finesse necessary to really crank up some big fish. We've got, you know, pretty chunky blackfin on these giant amberjack and even a few grouper from time to time. So this is a really, really fun combo to use. Um, in my opinion, more fun than the, than the pin senator. And it has the ability to catch a wide variety of fish, probably the, the widest variety of fish uh, out of any combo on this list. So, so the clips I wanna show you guys are all gonna be centered around jigging. Um, and, and more or less, they're gonna be centered around jigging for amberjack, which is probably the heaviest use case that we get out of this reel. So hope you guys enjoy the clip. Moving on to number three, we have the only spinning reel in our entire list, and that's the Pen 704Z. It's an older reel, but has withstood the test of time, very similar to the Pen Senator in terms of durability, affordability, and versatility when it comes to catching fish. We actually don't utilize a spinning reel too terribly much when it comes to our fishing trips, but it's very, very important to have one on board, whether you're using it with a popper like you see here, or if you're using it with a live bait up top. Having a spinning rod handy on the boat can turn an average day into a very memorable one. So we don't have many clips of this rod and reel in action. And that's because the nature of using a spinning reel uh, with a popper or a live bait is very opportunistic in nature. You're just going to see a mahi uh, free swimming or a copia free swimming near the boat. And the first thing you're gonna do is grab that spinning reel and chunk a live bait or chunk a, a lure at him. So because that's kind of the nature of, of fishing, we don't have many clips um, of showing the reel in action but you'll just have to take my word. That this is definitely something you're gonna want on your boat at all times. So moving on to number four, we have the all-time classic Pin International. This is a 50 wide series and it's actually the Pin International 1 series. Uh, since then, they've come out with a Pin International 2, which boasts a few extra features um, that are honestly probably useful, but, but are not featured on this individual uh, rod and reel setup. So I chose a smoke gray monofilament. I think this is 60 pounds and it's spooled with approximately 725 yards of the mono. So this is obviously one of our trolling combos. It is paired with a five foot nine 
extra heavy trolling rod by Star Rod. And while the older internationals might not be as fancy as the newer models or competing brands like Shimano, uh, what you're missing in extra features, you are doubling down on with simplicity, durability, and uh, longevity. The internationals come in three sizes. The one you're seeing here is a 50 wide, but they also come in 30, 80, and 130 sized increments. We keep two of these on board strictly for trolling, similar to the last entry uh, on our list. These reels are strictly meant for trolling and have caught a wide range of pelagics, including you know blackfin, yellowfin, wahoo, even hooked a blue marlin um, on one of them before. If the trolling conditions are looking right, you're gonna want at least two of these on your boat for the potential shot of a fish of a lifetime. Rounding out number one for our list is the Shimano TLD. The TLD series is more or less a direct competitor to the Penn International series. It's the little brother or little cousin to the Shimano Tiagra top of the line trolling reels. Um, but in my opinion, it's way more affordable and does nearly as good of a job as the Tiagras. So for most offshore fishing uh, excursions, it's going to fill the perfect role for your trip. Shimano advertises these as a lighter weight trolling reel. Uh, in fact, they come in sizes from 20 all the way to 80, whereas the Penn Internationals go from 30 all the way to 130. You can definitely get 130 size class reels uh, by Shimano, but that line is not really filled by the TLD line. The TLD line is looking for that small to mid-size trolling reel, and it fits that niche perfectly. It has all the bells and whistles that you could ask for, two speeds, plenty of drag, and a lot of line retrieval per crank, and it holds a similar amount of line to the Penn Internationals. The only true downside to the TLD series is the plastic housing that it comes in is not quite so durable when compared to the all metal housing of the Shimano Tiagras or even the Penn Internationals. So it gets a few points docked there, but it is a very sturdy and very reliable reel overall. We paired this TLD with a Daiwa Tanacom deep drop rod. It is five foot nine, just like many of the other rods on this list. But unlike those rods, it has a bent butt, which allows for bottom fishing and trolling, um, which is might be surprising to some of you guys. So we do troll with this rod. It's not necessarily a designated trolling rod, but for the fish we're targeting, which would be small tuna or mahi, it fills the role perfectly. I wouldn't necessarily want to fight a big blue marlin on it, but it definitely could be done, you know, should it find its way onto this specific rod and reel combo. We chose the Bent Butt Tanacom to pair with this TLD because it can be trolled with, but we also want to utilize it for deep dropping for tile fish, swordfish, and other deep water species eventually. Um, so this combo is going to fill a dual purpose for both deep drop bottom fishing as well as trolling. Because it offers that versatility, that is why it makes number one on this list. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to next time. Thanks for watching guys.